This LG laptop powers on with a charged battery, but it wouldn't charge. So here's what I found after digging in. With the charger plugged in, there was no charging light, nothing. I started checking the basics and measured the charger output. It's supposed to deliver 19 volts, but I was getting over 43 volts. That's dangerously high. I inspected the motherboard near the charging port and measured zero volts behind it, meaning power wasn't flowing past that point. I suspected a short and checked nearby components in diode mode. And sure enough, I found a short to ground. I removed input filter L18 to isolate the problem and figure out which side of the board was affected, and it turned out to be the right side. Time to dig deeper. I soldered a wire to the affected area, connected it to my power supply, and carefully injected voltage into the circuit. Then I used freeze spray to monitor which component would heat up first, and just like that, this diode lit up like a candle. The diode, labeled AL667, was shorted. It's either a shot key or a TVS diode, meant to protect the board from over voltage. Once I removed it, the short was gone. That diode did its job. It sacrificed itself to save the rest of the motherboard. And this all happened because of a faulty charger pushing out 43 volts instead of 19, enough to fry the protection diode instantly. I reinstalled the filter, added a new protection diode rated for 60 volts, and used a proper 19 volt charger this time. Now it's charging perfectly again. All thanks to one brave martyr diode who saved a $500 laptop. Rest in peace, little buddy. If you want to learn how to diagnose and repair problems like this, check out Cell Phone Repair Academy, where we train the next generation of advanced techs, one board at a time.